Hey, welcome back to Mr. Mig's classroom. I'm Mr. Mig, and again, I'm doing the FAA part 107 videos. Today's just going to be a quick one. I just want to go over load factor. Um, I know this is a tough one for my students, and so I just want to uh, review that with you. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen, and I'm going to share a picture with you all. Um, let's see. Okay, I guess I just want to share this. All right, hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. Um, Okay, so um, what I'm showing here is, uh, is a load factor graph. Um, and okay, so basically what the load factor is or what these questions are gonna ask you on the FAA part 107 exam is when a plane has weight added to it or when it's making a turn. So if it's making a turn, that's gonna add, making a turn essentially adds weight to the plane or it has the same effect as adding weight to the plane. So that's what the load factor is. So let's say we got an unmanned aircraft or a drone or a manned aircraft, whatever, and it has no weight added to it, it's just its base weight. That would be the load factor of zero. And if it has straight and level flight, right, that's going to be a load factor of zero. And right here, what we're looking at, it's just showing us what our normal stall speed is. So this giving us an example of a plane where it has a stall speed of about, uh, looks like, say 65 miles an hour. So if the plane is going less than 65 miles an hour, that plane is gonna to start to stall. So it's gonna lose altitude. Uh, and again, if it gets to 64 miles an hour, it doesn't mean it's gonna drop out of the sky, but it will start losing altitude. If it gets to something like 20 miles an hour, that might be when it starts to drop out of the sky. Again, we're talking about a fixed wing in this case. Um, and so, uh, but what happens is, is as the load factor increases, one of the questions you'll, you'll see on the part 107 exam is uh, the, it has a higher stall speed. And I know that sounds like odd, like why would a higher speed cause me to stall? It's not that the higher speed is causing you to stall. It just means you have to go faster for that plane to stay in the air because it has a larger load factor. So if you add weight to it, now that plane needs to go even faster to maintain speed. So we'll see this here, like uh, if you see my mouse, you'll see load factor of one. If we add one, right, it doesn't have too much of an issue, but when you have a load factor greater than one, then you're gonna start seeing you need a higher uh, speed to maintain altitude. So let's just say we're here, um, right here, like 1.5, you'll see now you need to go like 80 miles an hour instead of the 65 miles an hour we needed before. Because if you're at this like 1.5 load factor and you're trying to go 65 miles an hour, you're not going to be fast enough and your plane is going to start losing altitude and it's going to fall out of the sky. And that's a bad day, obviously. That's not a good day. Um, right here, you'll see this is the normal operating range, right? So for level flight, um, over here, you're kind of getting too fast. And eventually if you get too, too fast, then you're like, you're, you could have structural failure. Like literally your wings could fall off or something like that. Same if you try to like, if you try to turn too much, too much of a angled turn could do the same thing, cause structural failure, um, to the plane. So you don't want to do that. Um, all right. So that's basically the big point that I wanted to get to you here is, uh, how to uh, just understand that that's what that's all this is saying is like as you add load factor whether that be from weight or a bank's turn like turning then um, then you need to go faster to maintain your altitude right um, if you have any questions there please leave them in the comment section uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me stop sharing here for a second I want to show you one other graph uh, graph um, that I think kind of goes along with this uh, that we should see in, um, that we'll see in on the questions. So let's uh, load factor. Okay, great. All right. So let me go ahead and share the screen again. <clears throat> okay. So right here is in our airman supplement, like that thing that you're going to get when you take the test, the little booklet you get when you take the test. And right here, it's showing you your load factor chart. So sometimes you're going to have questions that are going to say something like, uh, you got a 30 degree bank to turn. Um, all you have to do, and, and then it's going to say, what weight does your unmanned aircraft need to be able to support in order to be able to support a 30 degree bank turn? These are actually really easy. All you have to do is say 30 degree bank turn, 
that's your angle turn right here. And then you'll see load factor that's gonna add 30 degree bank turn as a 1.15 for load factor. I mean, that's right here on the figure, it gives you that information. So you're basically just gonna take the weight of your aircraft. So if they tell you, let's get the calculator up. Um, let me minimize this a little bit, make it a little smaller. So let's say they tell you you got a 35 pound unmanned aircraft. You're gonna do 35 times 1.154. And then it's gonna, you're gonna need, your aircraft is gonna need to be able to support 40.39 or 40.4 pounds uh, of weight in order to make a 30 degree bank turn. Like that's, that's it, it's that easy. These questions are actually really easy. They look complicated, but they're not. This chart right here is the same thing as this, uh, or this graph is the same thing as this chart. And so um, that's all that's saying is like, okay, there's a 30 degree angle turn and that your load factor is 1.15. It's just easier to see it on this left side, I think. If you have any questions there, please ask me in the comments section if that confuses you. But um, I think that's pretty straightforward. I think those questions are pretty easy. You're just, if it says you're doing a 30 degree bank turn and it tells you your, your aircraft is 35 pounds, you're just multiplying 35 times 1.154 um, or whatever the bank turn is. And then that's the weight that your aircraft needs to be able to support. Uh, I think that's pretty easy. Um, like I said, if you have questions, write them in the comments section, but I do appreciate it if you give me a like and uh, or thumbs up on the video, uh, add a comment, subscribe. Um, uh, and I, I appreciate hearing any words or anything y'all have to say. Um, I'll talk to y'all next time and I'll put up another video. Uh, until then, uh, thanks for watching Mr. Mix Classroom.